because I know this is going to come to you all as a shock because I've been trying to hide this for God knows how long. This past few months has been the most difficult phase of my life, trust me. Like, the most difficult months ever because you guys know that it's been like nine years that I had a baby last and I mean, as a matter of fact, my outgoing last one now will soon be nine years old by December. So, being pregnant again is a different journey altogether. Trust me, you guys, let alone trying to hide it from YouTube. It wasn't easy at all. So, welcome back to my channel. If you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Sandra. So, it has just been like starting all over again. Trust me, you guys. This is just as if I am just starting the journey of life afresh. So finally breaking the news to you guys. We are pregnant. Saying it alone is making me feel emotional. Yes. But I think at this point, I don't need to hide this anymore because <clears throat> on daily basis, I run into my subscribers. I see a lot of people that will be like, Sandra, are you this heavy? And you've been hiding it from us. So... I don't just need to like continue keeping it away from you all. I know that in the beginning of this, my new marriage, I promised you guys in one of my vlogs that anytime I am pregnant, I'm going to come out here and say it that same month. Like I'm going to come out here and tell you guys, but trust me, a lot happened. Okay. A lot happened. And my family, they were not prepared for me to share the good news okay as at that time that was why i did not start the journey with you guys but so far so good this is me officially telling you all that god has been faithful and i have a beautiful baby inside of me baking gradually to the glory of god so i've kept this to myself to my family to a few friends that i told all this month okay but I cannot complete this journey without my beautiful and amazing subscribers. So that is why I'm here officially to let the cat out of the bag. Okay. So feel free to start telling me congratulations. Start, you know, expressing yourself. Whichever way it makes you feel, it's fine. Express yourself. Tell me anything you want to tell me. All the sweet, sweet things that I need to hear. Start saying it in the comment section now because my heart is filled with so much joy. Who am I, O oh Lord, that thou art mindful of me? Trust me, God has been faithful to me. Like sometimes when I imagine how faithful God has been to me, 
it makes me go emotional, you guys, because not even nasty or pass someone. It's the only me that God is showing this so much mercy. Anyways, it's quite unfortunate that as at the time this pregnancy came into the picture, a lot happened. Trust me, you guys, a lot started happening. My mom's health, my husband got a job that, you know, takes him out of Oka for weeks. And then again, I just had to battle everything all alone. In the beginning of the journey, I wasn't, I was so strong. Let me be honest. I was so strong in the beginning of the journey. At a point, I'll be like, Sandra, are you sure that you're even pregnant? Are you sure that, you know, you're pregnant? Because I was just so strong, eating everything I could, I could see. I was just myself and healthy and so strong until a lot of things started happening. My mom fell sick. My sister was not around. She was in school. It was just my husband left. He had to travel. It was just myself and my children here. So when my mom discovered that it was beginning to tell on me, like... I started feeling sick, pregnancy symptoms set in and all of that. She decided that I need to come down to my family house. And trust me, you guys, that was the best decision ever, okay? Because it really helped me a lot. I saw this woman, even in her pains that she was passing through, like go extra miles for me. That was why when I heard people saying I didn't have to, I didn't have to leave my house to go to my family house and all of that. I see these people as people that have never experienced family before. I just see them as people that never experienced family or maybe family love at all. So that was why I didn't bother to, you know, explain much. Okay. So like I said in that video where I was talking about my mom's health, I mentioned it that maybe there's another reason why I was even in the village that you people don't even know. Trust me, the life of a YouTuber, you only get to know what they show you. I am telling you the truth. So whenever you see us, you know, doing a particular thing at a particular time, we are not foolish. We have our own lives to live. We know what is best for us. Okay. So my mom actually played a very important role when it came to this new baby that I am expecting now because she went extra mile just to make sure I was okay in the beginning. I was sound until I started feeling sick. You guys know that. Like I said before, it's been nine whole years that I embarked on this kind of a journey. And then I fell sick, vomiting set in, spitting. I was going in and out of hospital. Like, trust me, multiple times, even in a month. Anyway, I'm going to um, share all of that with you guys in a vlog because I have my first trimester vlog that I've recorded and I kept it for you guys, especially, okay? So... It was, although I told a few friends that were close to me, as at when all these things were happening, I carried a few of you along with me, you know, my family and every other person. I just want to, like, thank God that he brought me this far. Trust me, it was not an easy journey at all. Coming this far was not easy. Having to take care of my sick mom, having to take care of every other person, having to take care of Danny and Sammy's school, it was not an easy journey at all, but thank God that I pulled through and to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil, we are finally here, okay? So you guys, forget the fact that I was always coming out here to come and blab and make nice videos and all of that. We had a beautiful smile. A lot was actually going on in the background, but at the end of it all, it was worth the stress. It was worth it, trust me, because... Baking this beautiful baby inside of me is, is such a spiritual journey to me and that was one of the reasons why I had to let it off social media until now. In as much as I tried my best to keep it off YouTube, I still saw some people because there are so many womb watchers out here. There are plenty of Nyokoimita womb watchers that, are, that we are on this channel, Nyokoim, you know, trying to see. I saw some comments, people tried to, you know, leave comments like sandra are you pregnant you look pregnant especially when i was in the village okay when the first trimester was actually first trimester in me as if it was actually dealing with me despite the fact that i come out here to laugh every time and so when i saw some of those comments i just removed the comment because you know i i wasn't ready to share it at that time but come to think of it oh now we be our subscribers 
Is it not better that even when you notice something is happening, when you notice that somebody is even pregnant, why not just zip up until the person decides to talk? Eh? Must you come and broadcast it before the person? Anyways, understanding the first. Yeah, with this particular pregnancy, I think it's quite different from that of Danny and Sammy, I must confess. And you guys will get to know why, maybe from my subsequent vlogs, I'll start sharing important information that you all need to, you know, know about. But for now, the reason why I'm filming this video is to come and tell you guys that God has chosen me, okay, to bring into this world a very supernatural being, a special being, okay, because I feel privileged to be, you know, to be the gateway of this child into this particular world because it is not easy at all so this is me also praying for all the women out there believing god for the fruit of the womb if you are believing god for the fruit of the womb and you are watching this video i pray for you from the deepest part of my heart the god that blessed me with this baby unexpectedly the god that blessed me with this child when i was meant to wait a little longer that God, the God of 11th hour, will come through for you very, very soon, sooner than you expect it. So, then again, I just want to thank my family, my friends that I told, my family members especially, that were there for me during this process. My husband, when I see that man, do you people see that man? Let me reserve my comments. I just want to thank all of you, okay, that stood by me during this pregnancy journey up until now i want to say a very big thank you to you all because without you guys support it wouldn't have been this easy trust me because i remember when i was sick in the hospital i was going in and out of hospital at the point i was almost giving up trust me but with the love i get from my family friends my husband my children i it kept me moving until this particular stage so I, I just want to appreciate everyone else. It wasn't easy at all because I remember a day I vomited. I was vomiting. You know, my bucket is always for, for vomiting is always beside me. And then I also spit a lot in all my pregnancies. That was That's one thing that is familiar with Danny and Sammy's pregnancy and this one. So I start spitting the moment I, I discover I'm, I'm pregnant. I start spitting even when I'm talking. Saliva will be in my mouth and all of that. So there was a day I was vomiting at my family house. For you guys to see how serious it was with me then, you know, there was a day I was vomiting to the point that I, I didn't, I've not eaten for about days before that vomiting started that day. I wasn't able to eat for days before the vomiting started and all of a sudden, my dad started crying. He went emotional. Do you know, like, he became too emotional, right? So it made me to see that Sometimes you just have to be strong for your parents. So I decided to just be strong even while I was there in my family. But my mom will always, you know, check up on me. She will always monitor me because she knows the stage I was passing through. And this is my very first time carrying a pregnancy in the presence of my mom and my dad. Usually I just get pregnant and I call them on the phone that I am pregnant. And then later they see me that I put to bed. This is the very first time that my dad is seeing me pregnant. So... It was such an emotional period for him, especially when I start vomiting and I fall sick. So you guys, this is me um, concluding this video. All I want is your prayers, your love, your support. Like, just pamper me, please. I'm begging. <laughs> please, just all I want is love, prayer, support at this point, okay? Because... I actually saw me in this pregnancy and I'm going to be sharing all of that with you guys as time goes on. So, um, I, it was actually difficult filming this video because I didn't know what, I didn't know how to start. I didn't know what to see. Like, I, I didn't know, but anyhow you guys are seeing it, please take it. Okay. So this is how far we've come. Let me show you guys my stomach. <laughs> this is how far we've come. This is us, and this is how far we have come with our baby. So, I'll... Hey! Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Above all, thank God Almighty for me. Just wave your hands anywhere you are, because 
this baby is such a miracle baby the story behind this pregnancy is, is going to come up here on the channel very soon the reason why i'm going to be sharing it is so that other women that are believing god for the fruit of the womb will you know use it as a point of contact and know that there is light at the end of the tunnel that god will always come through for every woman because the bible says that there shall be none barren in the land meaning you as a woman you're not permitted to be barren that is what it means so thank you so much for watching let me stop talking because i'm already breathing up, up. Mm? i'll catch up with you guys later bye